<laughs> new year, new vids. New vids. Same tiny workshop. Yeah, currently. What are we yeah. doing today then, brother? Um, we are going to finally show how to mod a tape player, hopefully. This is the Little easiest. portable ones, yeah? We're not going to go big desktop. Yeah, oh yeah, these yeah. Little... These little Walkmans, these dictaphone type things. Um, we're going to show the easiest way. This isn't the way. We're going to show you how to mod this one because it's the most widely available. You can pick it up on Ali and eBay for cheapest. I Brand think. new ease, yeah. You can get it on Amazon as well, but I imagine it'd be like 50 quid because yeah. Amazon. We love these. Yeah. Sanyo Talkbook. We've used these for years. Yeah. Model, if you're looking. They are around. They're still online. Um, yeah. So we'll open this one up and then we'll show you these ones at the same time because there's a slight variant but yeah we'll just show you how to find the mod you right? know what our tutorials are like you know it like, come on rough. I don't like <laughs> step by step <laughs> it's a bit wobbly but you'll get the idea alright let's start with what we're we on need. this journey together what do we need yes screwdriver do you want to do it unscrew it bang right. so you want to unscrew your thing get screwdriver probably a tiny little Phillips little crossy oh, yeah you're probably not going to get a focus on that no <laughs> A bit of wire for prodding about, you'll see. A yeah. tiny piece. Yours. Single core. Single core, yeah. Don't do it with threaded, it's a pain in the ass. Yeah, you're gonna have wire anyway because you need to solder the pots on eventually. Oh, yeah. So. Soldering iron. Yes. We use this one. Yeah, it's uh, a Weller. I think it's German too, made. Too good for a beginner, but. Yeah, if you're a beginner, just get a cheap one. You can get them for like 20 quid for a half decent one with a little soldering station on it. Yeah, and you're only soldering like two things. Two, yeah. You're only soldering like two tiny things, so you don't need a good one. You do need a smallish tip, like a pointed tip. Yeah. You get it? Yeah. yeah. You don't want one of them ones that looks like a bloody flat, flat head screwdriver. Yeah. Let's talk about pots. the pots a little. Potentiometers. The there we go. Oh. Yeah, so this yeah. one's a 5k. We go from low to high, which I'd consider high 100 for this sort of mod. So, screwdriver, wire, pots, soldering Spe iron. Speaker. Right, yeah. Tape. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's what you need. Enthusiasm. That's what you need. I think that's it. Yeah. Yeah. Um, we're going to open it. We opening this one straight up. Right. Seven minute close up shot of me unscrewing. <laughs> <Ta -da>. Lovely. <laughs> we've got a few different, we've opened the other ones too. They all look very different on the back, obviously. Yeah, that's the. But we're going to explain the little searching process that we do. Yeah. For example, on this one. You got to the light. Oh, yeah. This guy. See it? That's to adjust, like fine tune the speed to set this tape player to like universal standard tape playback speed. Mm -hmm. So they have to fine tune the motors. If you take that out and put one of your own potentiometers, you know, wire to there, and then wire to these, you're going to have control over the speed of the motor. Mm -hmm. Finding the right value for that situation is the bit. So where's that bit <clears throat> on the other one? If you're going in, there's no point in being up here. Like this is obviously connected to the audio outputs or the mic input. There's no point in trying to circuit bend up here for a speed, speed mod. Mm -hmm. So you can just write off certain areas. Go straight to this. Yeah. Near the motor. Yeah, I'm not saying there ain't going to be stuff around here that will affect the speed, playback speed, but it's probably affected other stuff as well. Yeah, yeah. Really, you just want to intercept the voltage between the board and the motor with, a, with as little other components involved as possible. Obviously, the sweet thing would, to do would be just to go straight in, remove this pot from the back of this board, and replace it with two wires going to your own pot. Yeah. But that's the same for this one by the looks of it. That's the same. I'm pretty sure that's it there. Yeah. But. So what would be next? You'd poke around inside. If we can stick see. Some batteries in it. Should we go for this one? Woohoo! <laughs> Put a tape in it. Favorite piano music. 
all German. The best. It's very mellow for a morning. <laughs> Where are you going then, down here? Over here somewhere. I'm over here, is it in the way? Oh, First pause. touch. Is that pause? It's super slow mo. See, because that's where that little trim pot is. So I'm yeah. starting around there. So, what is it you're just connecting to? Let me move these. Right, you got a good clean focus on it? So I'm just, there's that little trim part. So I'm gonna start around here. I just feel like it's gonna be around here somewhere. Don't do it shit. Move to a different point. That's making it run super slow. See the two points? Mm -hmm. So I could just mark them with a little marker pen. Which one was it? That one and that one. So from that point, you would just... I will take a piece of wire. Just normal, this is 26. Is it 26? 26 gauge. 26 AWG, single core, hookup wire. Yep. That's it. I'll take, get my solder and iron. I'll put two extra bits of solder, blob, blob, and then I'll come in. We're gonna do all this anyways. Bang, bang, that's it. So that's the sort of poking around process if you don't know where to go. Let's do a bit more to show that what you might stumble across. You get that a lot. Horrible pop, but it seems to be pausing the whole thing. That made it ever so slightly faster. That's my thumb touching the board. That slowed it down. See, there's multiple points where you could do it. There's another one. Obviously, this is like the main control area for the motor, for the voltage to the motor. If you go around here, you're not really going to get a lot other than sound cutting off and little clicks. This is nothing to do with the motor speed. Mm -hmm. All right, I think that's good enough for that. For that. Yeah. That one. So that's poking around. If you don't know exactly where to go, just have a little poke around, make some connections with your wire. Chances are you're gonna see two wires going to your motor. It's in that area. It's gonna be in that area. They don't often, they have to make, save so much space on these boards. They're not gonna like put it over here. Yeah. yeah. It's gonna be close by. All right, so we're showing the poking around in this one. We know how we're gonna do this one. Yeah. Um, so that's doing both, I guess. Yes, 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 yes. The process is very similar. This one, because we're going to take the trim part off the board, which I've just got to lift the board off, which seems scary, but it's all right. <laughs> Don't worry about it. Right, I'm going to desolder these, and then I'm going to flip it over, and we're going to remove that guy. That's what they look like. It's got a leg missing though. We're gonna put wires on them two solder points. Right? Yeah. Uh, FYI, this should have been said at the top really, but um, as long as you're fucking around with stuff that has battery powered, like as oh, long yeah. as it's powered by batteries, you're good to fucking <laughs> poke around. If you are connecting it to a wall, don't poke around. Obviously that should be... I mean, 
don't poke around with a laptop battery. Yeah, yeah, that's good. <laughs> We're hoping there's common sense there, but yeah, don't plug it in and poke around. That's mad. Battery powered, like you will what's die. The, what's the worst that can happen with a battery one? Can you get a shock? You can get a little nine volt from that. No, not from double A. <laughs> no, fucking hell! I think we put out more voltage than that. <laughs> Just sat here, mate. How many of you have licked a battery as a kid? Um, That's as bad as it's gonna get. Oh, okay, yeah. <laughs> Is that a full nine volt current That's on your full tongue? full nine. Full nine, mate. On your tongue? Yeah. When you do it? Yeah. It's not that bad. I don't mind that. Don't worry. I used to do it for a bit of a buzz. <laughs> <laughs> You've been watching too much Futurama, mate. <laughs> Getting jacked. Yeah. Um, oh, I'm just doing the cable management bit without explaining anything here. Right. What? Are they sold it on? How did that happen? When did they... You just show <laughs> you just filming me. <laughs> he was talking all the way through it. Do we need to refilm it? I don't know, I think that's why it was not. Oh. Oh beautiful. Happy days. We're gonna be connecting the pot to this, obviously, and that's what that wire's for. Yeah, this wire's attached to the It's gonna go over to, to one of these. Yeah. So this one's attached to the trim pot, but we've also gone ahead and wired this one as well, that we did earlier. Same thing. We've not taken the trim pot off, we're bypassing it this time. Yeah. And we're gonna go to one of these guys. Yeah. So we're just Don't showing know value yet, but just well, showing that both of these are slightly different mods, but ultimately it will result in the same outcome. Wire management. Yeah. I'm looking where the best place for this cable to come out. Not that way, because your batteries need to go in there. It's going to cause you problems. <laughs> <laughs> you need the family fortune in a second. <laughs> <laughs> I want to ding when we get the right option. <laughs> Bad option. Because <laughs> you got all this shit to deal with. No, no. Yeah. Big red cross. I'm looking up here. You got a load of wire coming through here. Oh, look at this. Look, that's seated down on the board nice. Oh, yeah. Sneaking in there. Sneaking in. Right. That should be fine. Yeah. So you want to find a place so you can snake the wire out so that when you close up your whole unit, the wire's going to be poking out in a, a decent, useful place <laughs> and not interfering with any other... So uh, now we're looking at this, like that's going to go back on like that. Yeah. Make a little hole there. You could, you could use your soldering iron. Like you could just melt a little piece like... Like so. Tied it up with a little knife. Or you could just trim it out. A pair of scissors. Not a pair of scissors. A pair of snips. A pair of clippers. It's a tiny nick is enough to get the cables through. That'll do it. it's not like clipped that's it that's ready for some screws let's, let's get the other one closed up as well we'll come back when that's done done got any jokes mm. <laughs> joe's a comedian i don't know if you know that <laughs> follow his other thing it's too early <laughs> It is the morning. This is the first time we be really honest. We filmed this already. <laughs> <laughs> and it didn't work. And it was so bad, <laughs> even for us, <laughs> that Joe started editing it and then phoned me up and was like, I'm going to do it again. Oh, God. Joe, have we, you told any jokes this week? We filled the quote of a band. We filled waffle, the waffle fucking files full. <laughs> All right. Where are we up to? Uh, <laughs> right, so the wires okay. are coming out of here. Yeah, they're we're enclosed. Going from that to that. <laughs> they're enclosed. Oh, <laughs> this thing's God. well annoying me. 
Do you know what? No one annoys my brother. <laughs> Get out of there. <laughs> Apart from me. Oh, is it still just... Oh, it's still annoying him. In the... That's all right. Oh, there we go. We'll send you that in a Christmas card. Yeah, brute force. Right, so they're Done. enclosed. The wires are poking out. Now we need to attach a pot to said wire. <laughs> Done. <laughs> you went a bit fucking. My radio presenter voice. Uh, to said wire. <laughs> David. <laughs> I wonder how many people would even Get that catch on to that. Yeah. None. <laughs> One. Comment some. Comment Steven! <laughs> if you <laughs> if you know what we're on about, anyway. Uh... <laughs> Nobody knows. <laughs> Nobody knows. I don't think any Brits watch this anyway. So it's all Americans. Yeah. Howdy, y'all! <laughs> <laughs> cutting that. Cutting. Cut. <laughs> cut that. All right, come on. Yeah. We keep dipping it out of a two story. You said pants. So <laughs> we need, here we are. We need some gags. We've got our pots, we've got our planers, let's attach the pots to the planers, that's what I said a minute ago, let me start banting around again. Oh, come back to bants. Should we start, like, I've been blatantly too high, or? Nah. Start low? Nah, start at 100. Which one are we doing, both? Yeah. We'll do I both, think, we'll do both. I think we leave this for now, we'll attach the 10K to it once we know that it's yeah. good to go. But what we're gonna show here is, this is the wrong value pot. We know this because we've done these ones loads of times. for sure. And so we're going to show you what happens when you put the wrong value pot on. Basically, what value is that? 100k. Okay, so it's way over. All right, we're on. We've got a thing. It's attached. We're going to put a tape in. Shoot the tape. Yeah. <laughs> Check it out. <laughs> How did that happen? Oh. oh who knows this pain? Know. That's my favourite piano music. Unwanted. What you got to do to find the right value Christmas. is go through each part and, and find as much mind, range through the. Angry. Well, if anyone should be bearing a grudge about the rotation of, of the pot, night, it was me. And all, like all the controllers between there and there. I just will. Which is rubbish. You want that full range across here. Mm-hmm. Especially now, Mary so and I were speaking to each other. So, if it's all clustered up in one day. corner, one quarter of the pot, it's not the right value. I'm showing what happens when it's the wrong one. It's nothing major. It's just you don't have as much control as you'd you'd be able to get from a different value. It's player specific what type of pot you'll need. And it seems to also be player specific what type of legacy you'll have to hold it to. What side, yeah. Because this one, you'll see it'll be, yeah, well, it's here. Yeah. Whereas this one's on this side. I'm going to call him Pablo. Oh. Should we take the face off of this? Because we can't really see what's going on anyway. Roughly the right value is not perfect. Yeah, you could find one with better range. Yeah, this is still only really half. A half. Yeah. yeah, I'd say to about there. We're, yeah, we're going to switch this to a fader, which is a different value. Five K. Yeah. So if you want to do this one, five K. 5k for them ones. It's pretty good. We are gonna go in with 20. Don't know which leg's which yet. It's all trial and error.
that's, that's, what, nice that's what you're looking for, really. That's the full range. If we put that 5k, we'll do it in a minute. On on that one. Anyway. Yeah, we'll show that one working. But yeah, but yeah 20k is. Let me see. comes to mounting these things you haven't really got that much space some people stick them on there we've got one from last week from the doomed video that we did we just stuck it on the end there and it's nice put rubber feet on it feels good lovely little player but we found a nice little solution in the form of faders same as this Potentiometer, but in a fader. So we're probably going to use one of them on this, and it will replace that part, and it will go there. Sweet. Do that now. Yeah. Well, so with this one, we're going to leave this here because we're not going to do anything more of it. But all you need to do from this point on is find somewhere to blow it. If like we're obviously ignoring this whole face plate because we'd remove it. But if you want to keep it, you can stick it on there. What have we got? A bit of black tack. You can just glue it on there if you want, as long as you've got enough wire. It's not a problem. Yeah. So we're moving on from that. That's how to make that one. That's that. That's that. Yeah. Stick the pot where you want. Now, the final one for a final design that we're going with, we're going to change the pot for a slider. And that'll be it. <laughs> I've cut the pot off because I couldn't be bothered to desolder it because it's a mess. <laughs> Fader. Fader. Yes. Should we put a tape in it? <laughs> <laughs> That's what you're looking for. Full range. It's gonna go on there. Yeah. Look, that. that looks sick. We've mounted fader. It's yes. on. Everything. Oh. Sweet. That's cool. I love it. Oh. Oh, mod. That's it. We are calling this. I christen. By the way, <laughs> check out our shop. We have <laughs> a few of them available on our store. So if you don't want to do the mod and you saw all this and you thought, ah, I can't be bothered with any of that. <laughs> I can't be bothered, I just want to mess with it. Have a, head over to our Etsy, link in bio. These are available. Dicta Drone Slide. That's how to mod a tape player. And these are our slides. And this was our first vid of 2023. Give us a break. We made it. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely didn't already shoot a whole one that we threw in the bin. All right. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> See ya. <laughs>